Well, this isn't getting to the end of the year. This is pretty much just off takes of the interview that we did with Spanion. But in fairness to myself, we were gonna do a video purely on firearm prohibition orders. Spanion's lived experience is better on them. Don't know what a firearm prohibition order is? Well, you're gonna find out in a second, but I'm just gonna give you a quick little brief overview just to stretch this out to 10 minutes. Firearm prohibition orders more or less just get plonked on someone and for the rest of their life, two cops, they're kind of like on one of those 80 sonars being ding, ding, ding. And wherever they go, you can just wander in, be like, right, a West warrant by order of the king. And then toss shit up without any warrants. Anyway, he explains it better as he always does because he's the orator of our age. Enjoy, and because it's near Christmas, have a happy holidays. Actually, sorry, wait, where are my Bill O'Reilly manners? Merry Christmas. And uh, because we're getting into the festive season, JB Hi-Fi, KFC, Dulux, uh, Manscaped. There we go. Enjoy those ads during the interview. What happened with you, with your FPO? Had my FPO come about, what it means to them, what it does to me. Um, I don't know, one day I was down, like when I was living down Woolamaloo, they rocked up, they just said, you got a firearm prohibition order, and it was based on my character. Uh, so I thought, I heard about it before, I thought they apply to people who have misused firearms, um, but apparently not. Apparently it's just like, if they don't like your character, and it's not even based, you may say, oh, but you're a, you're a criminal, I'm a, career, I'm a career criminal, with a lot of violent charges. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Um, but they give it to people with no criminal charges. It's literally just like if the coppers don't... If the police officer doesn't think that you should have a gun, then they'll put it on you. It's as simple as that. And there's nothing you can do about it. Um, and so for the rest of your life, you have that? Well, apparently it's five years. Apparently it's five, okay. when the five years is up, it's as easy to reinstate it as it was to give it. So the five years is that. So I could see, I'm see, I'm, I'm going to sit here for, a, it's been like four years now. So I've got a year left. And on the day, a copper just goes, well, I don't want him to have a gun. And they'll put, and that's, that's another five years. It's as simple as that. Um, yeah, so yeah, what it means yeah. to me is it's outrageous. It's, it's outrageous. So the life I live is that any police officer that sees me, this has been going on for four years, right? They know well that I'm not a criminal. They know well that I've never had a firearm, whatever. They know exactly what I do. They all watch me. Half of them are fanboys. They know exactly, really? yes, they know exactly what I do. But I have an FPO, so anytime they see me, all right, and, and think about how often that is, they come up and search me. It's, there's no, all that stuff you hear about, about having warrants doesn't exist because apparently I'm some crazy threat to the community. So they can now search me. Any vehicle that I occupy or any commercial or residential property that I'm in can be searched top to toe just because I'm in it with no warrant. That's what it. What a loophole. So, okay. so right now, for example, I'm sitting in the studio with you. They can come in, 30 of them, open your door, no questions asked. If you don't open it, they'll smash it in and search it top to bottom just because I'm in here. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Probably this a dumb is idea taken a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> see, if I jump in your car, they will pull you and me out the car, search us both, search a car. Um, and this is just the life I live. So everywhere I walk, I just get put against walls, searched, pulled over in the car, car searched. And to be honest, they don't rip the house apart that often. They've been pretty nice there. Mm. Um, but definitely in the streets, like they just have to see me and say, Oh, you got an FPO, get against the wall. Have you got any guns on you? So I can uh oh, hurry up, man. <laughs> like, like, like they, they, these people are so ridiculous, right? That like, say, two weeks ago, I was doing, I'm sitting there in shorts, no shirt, no shoes on, right? In Wentworth Park down Glebe, doing dips in the exercise thing. Mm. Just like barely dressed, mm. just doing dips. My, mm. my phone playing YouTube. They seen me, so they decided to park down the street or walk into the park and search me while I'm doing dips. Search me for guns. I'm there in a pair, of, footy shorts a pair, or a pair of footy shorts, no yeah. clothes on, nothing, in the mm. park, clearly mm. exercising. Mm. And that was, oh, I've got to search you for guns. Do you think it was, they put it on you, I, I guess you're just speculating here, do you think they put it on you because 
they know who you are no. and it's kind of revenge? Or no, what, no, no. What they put it on me before I had any fame. And they've got it on half the people that I know. But that's what I'm saying, right? Like, did they put it on you because of the people that you hang around and they oh, just want an opportunity the life to... I've led... Because the life you led, so then they can, like, you. search whatever apartment so you go imagine into. imagine this power, right? This is, this is what it is. This is the way I, I see it. And it's logically the way that it, it really is put into, into action. Imagine that every police, precinct, whatever, local area command in Sydney um, goes and gives... FPOs to 200 to 500 people in their local area command, all right, which they've done. Mm. They pretty much have the power then to search anything whenever they want. Mm. Anything. Mm. If, you, if you've got a local area command, if you're in a West police and you're policing Newtown and there's 500, 800 people with FPOs in Newtown, you don't need any investigation or warrant ever again. It's only a matter of sitting in front of a shop for 40 minutes before one of them walk in. Then you can make the shop top to toe. Right. You have the ultimate right. power and that no one oversees and no one can object to. That Anyway, you can search nearly any car, any shop, any house. It's just a matter of waiting for matey with FPO to walk in there. If they want to search you and they need a warrant to search you for whatever because they don't like you, they just sit there and wait for someone like me to walk in. So That's you're it. just a beacon, I suppose. You're just a walking beacon. We're walking liabilities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And we're, there's, they're everywhere. Yeah. Like they yep. could go down now to Woolloomooloo, Waterloo, and search nearly any house they want. You know, apparently, that they're trying to put in something that's similar to that for people that possess drugs, I think it is, or deal drugs. Really? Yeah. Can you imagine when that happens? Yeah. Possess drugs? Yeah, <laughs> something well, like yeah. Or, or dealing. Or, or de- I'll yeah, have well, to reread well, it. Well, then there you go. They've got the ultimate power over society for anyone that has any type of violent or ugly character or had anything to do with drugs or ever stole. or Like if they add one or two more things that are similar to FPO, then just forget about a court system. What, what's, what's it for? They just do whatever they want. <laughs> He's a smart man. I think they do it with bikies already and bikey associates and family members of bikey associates and their sons and cousins and anyone they ever went to school with. So, like, it trickles down. Like, really, all jokes aside, you put a couple of these outrageous powers that can be painted off like... You can say in any individual circumstance, someone can sit there and they can say, well, you are a bit of a bad character, so... But it's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about that I want a gun. I don't want a gun. I've never had a gun. You know what I mean? I'm mm. sweet. I'm sweet, like doing what I do. You never had a gun. I never had a gun. I'm not a. I'm not a gun shooter. St- stabbed a lot of people. Let me just. Streetwise, is it hard to get a gun? Is it hard to get a gun? Depends what area you're from. Um, like from your area, could if you wanted to, you could get one. They're expensive. No, you can definitely get one. Yeah, you can definitely get yeah. one. If the guns are not a, are not even really a thing. Like seriously, guns right. are not a thing really in the criminal world. Honestly. There's a couple like people that are like into sh- shooting each other and whatever, but it's like really scarce and in between. Like it's so you know in the criminal world, like barely ever do you see people get around with guns. Because as soon as you have one, like your sentence just goes right up. Is that is that oh, why do you reckon? I think. Um, well, it's just because there's none in there in the first place, so there's not this sort of mini arms race that is happening. So everyone has to defend themselves. Yeah, I guess so. Um, it's. it's it's hard to know exactly why, but um. But none of your friends or anything ever had any interest in having no, one. No, it was just it was always just stealing. It was always just making money. Yeah, yeah, it was always yeah. just making money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, for, for, yeah, yeah. That's it. There are certain like groups out there, you know what I mean, and their their job is to be the toughest of the place. Mm. They might be involved in guns. Mm. Yeah, it's never mm. been any of my priorities or anyone I know. Mm. Yeah. And you got it anyway. Yeah. Well, I like your conspiracy theory. It's really yeah. cool. I think you were actually right. Yeah, yeah. Because why would they want to go in front of a judge? Of course. They, all, they t- take away all the loopholes that they need to. It's just paperwork for them. Yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're justified. Um, uh, they're justified things that they were supposed to be going through. But now, yeah, they just they do whatever they want. Please share and comment below. Command.